Hello, my friends, and welcome back. It is November 2024, and I am here at midnight to share with you Spellbinders Club Kits of the Month. I have the Deluxe Caboodle here in front of me to share with you. So each of these items are available a la carte, or you can get the entire Caboodle at $120, which is 60% off. So I will show you a little bit more about that as we go through because there is a freebie item and I've got samples along the way as well. So let's just jump into it and let me share away. So this is the small die of the month. And as you can tell, we have some birthday theme items. We've got our balloons and our little animals. Look at the sloth. Oh my goodness. Look here. So as you can see in the sample, they use the sloth. And in my first sample, this is how I went about it. Look at the rose gold beauty here. I have used the Spellbinders Treasure Gold collection papers and made our little sloth I use the glimmer of the month that's coming up here in a minute to, that I'll share with you. It's a confetti plate. I used it along with one of the dies from the stitching club of the month. So I just wanted to point that out because it has multiple uses. And then I even tacked on a coordinating wax seal of the month. So this is a collaboration, but my main focus here is this little guy which I adore. You will see him coming back to a video in the upcoming days. I have two videos this month of us creating together. We're going to have the first video on Saturday which will be a better press video. It's a registration video this month. So make sure you stay tuned and come back. Make sure you ring that notification bell so you don't miss that. And then we will also have one on the 6th of the month. And I'm going to go step by step and teach you exactly the easiest way to do die cut layering. So I thought that will help with all of these intricate little die cut pieces. So I'm going to help you with that this month. So here is the stencil of the month. This is quite interesting and I have an adorable sample to share with you, but check this out. Look at all these little cubes that all line up to create this geometric design. I have a lot of ideas with this one, but let me show you what I came up with. With the birthday theme in mind, and now I have grandbabies, so they, my daughter needs children's cards. So I came up with this little guy. See the background? I used the lightest color in my Altenew Ink families and created this little pastel blocked background with that stencil. And then look right here. Look at my little present. I used the stencil on that little die as well and created this little cutesy package that our little friend there is taking to the party. The cloud from that small die of the month has that glittery lining, which I thought was adorable. And here's another peek of the stitching die of the month being used without stitching. So there's another way of using the stitching die. And if you're not into children's themes, one way to stay active as a club member, my number one recommendation would be grabbing the stitching die because this stitching die of the month this month, to me, is the best value. And I'll show you why when we get to it. But here in the background is the regular club embossing folder. So see the little streamers? Isn't that adorable? And then I use the little glitter card back here behind this layer and he's just a little, little bit happy there. So he's headed to the party. So yeah, I, you know, my cards have to have some, some stories sometimes and he's just headed to the party. 
So that is our stencil of the month. <laughs> this we are going to have some fun with in our die cutting video. So on the 6th, come back for this one. We are going to put together this little guy in the car and check out this alligator. <laughs> is he not adorable? Okay, I know everybody doesn't have kids or grandkids or, I mean, you may, you may. Or you may make cards and need birthday cards, but if you don't, still come back because I'm gonna give you lots of tips and tricks on how to easily assemble layered die cuts. So it's just gonna be ideas to make it easier. Your florals, your, you know, anytime you're layering little pieces. If you struggle with it, make sure you come back for that video. So here is a finished card. And I do not have one to share with you today because it's gonna be made with you on the 6th. So that is the large die of the month. Oh, and let me show you the rest of the dies because I almost didn't show them to you. You get all of these as well. So you get a banner, you get the party hats with the detail, you get the grass or can be used as a road. You get this, which I will show you here in just a second with the glimmer, this big open window. The presents, this is the little present I use to stencil. And I use this bow on that stenciled card where I stenciled that little package. So all of that plus these characters are the large die of the month. So speaking of glimmer, this is that glimmered foil plate and in my samples, I doubled it like I showed you last month. If you missed that video, I will link it down below. So make sure you check that out if you don't know how to create this into a full background panel. I have that video below. And this is a sample I created using that large die window and the glimmer and I used the rainbow glimmer. It's actually called rainbow confetti glimmer that came with my deluxe caboodle. Now, Spellbinders does have the right to substitute in their work paperwork, they have the right to substitute the hot foil and the wax beads to their discretion. So I have no control over that. Hopefully you are gonna get rainbow confetti and the must-have coral mix. But I just wanted to show you here that I made it into a shaker card. I used the balloons from the small die, I believe, and I hot foiled this with the rainbow on Spellbinder's cardstock. It foils beautifully. And then I made a shaker card. Looks like little candies on the top of a cupcake. I got those at Michael's, by the way. And then this background stencil is actually the um, candles stencil from Simon Hurley. I will have an actual supply list linked down below, the visual supply link down below. If you see anything extra I've used here and you're curious about anything, the links to the clubs will be down there as well. So I just wanted to let you know that in case you see something and you're like, what in the world did she use? But I thought this, I kind of went a little crazy here. I used too much, but that's okay. It makes a lot of fun. And I think I'm going to give this one to my little Liam, who's turning two in December. I think he'll like the shake, shake, shake. We just found out he has autism stage three. So we like to give him things that are sensory. And I think... He will like that. And his mama is keeping his cards and my other grandson's cards for them put up so that, that one day they will have a collection of birthday cards from grandmommy. So this is probably going to be Mr. Liam's second birthday card. All right. So that's that sample. And the Glimmer Club here shows this sample here with a little turtle. And they have done something similar here, but they didn't cut it out. They just used that same die as the background die for their scene. But they do show the glimmer technique that I showed in the video last month 
they show it here on the packaging as well. So that is handy. And you have these sentiments and also the dies that go with them, which is nice. So a really nice glimmer this month. Now this is gonna be Saturday's video, so I do not have a sample for this today. We are going to jump into registration and do a registration plate together. So this is this month's Better Press of the month. It's called Paint the Town. You have a hooray, it's your birthday, time to celebrate, and it's your special day sentiments. They do have dies, and we are going to play with this and make a cute little scene on Saturday. So make sure you come back for that one. There's the little registration plate, and we will use that, and I'll show you exactly what to do with that. Stitching of the month. This is a no-brainer. Everybody needs this in their life. If you don't get anything else, even if you don't stitch, right here, check it out, guys. This is a frame set, and it's cross-stitch. Look at the cross stitch. Is that not cool? But even if you don't stitch, it can be used like this. And I think that is so cool. But like I showed you earlier, it also has these dies in it that have the stitching. So you can make these as frames, or you can make them as a full panels with a stitched edge. You have so many options here. Now in the die cut video that'll be on the 6th, we're going to use these that are actually stitched up. So you will see them stitched in that video. Whereas here I don't have them stitched. But you will see a sample of them stitched then. But this is just an all around really nice frame die set. Something that will be used over and over again. It's not birthday related and I just think it's really nice. But that's just my two cents. I always tell you how I feel and that to me is a no brainer. So on to the stamp and die of the month. This one, Confetti Wishes, has a a nice array of sentiments. So sending wishes wrapped up and tied with a bow. Hello, happy birthday. Sending a carload of smiles. Think of the frog in the car. May your birthday be delightful as you. For you, yay. May your year be sprinkled with magic. Delivering hugs and kisses. Best wishes. Cake, candles, and confetti. Oh my. And to and from which would be great for that tag, which is right here in the center. So that is nice. Remember with their stamps and dies, you get dies for everything. And the price point of this one and the small die of the month, prices are really good. The prices are good all around, but those are especially good. Now, this is your freebie this month if you are a Deluxe Caboodle subscriber. This little birthday cake, it's called Bur or party time cake. I have used this and this right here. But, oh, I forgot. Wait, wait, wait. I forgot I did actually do stitching. I forgot about that one. There's the silver stitching. And then I use the sentiments exactly how they're on this sheet in my Misty and I stamp them in an ombre of three ink colors on colored cardstock for my background. Didn't that turn out kind of cool? I thought it was a really neat background. I've never done that before. So just another idea for you on ways that you can use your stash. I love coming up with new ways. I just, I, I have so much fun in the craft room when I can just create. So that's why I like doing this video because with the kits, I can just create for a few days and not think of what videos am I gonna make? I just create with the clubs and then I share them what I've done 
and how I've done it with all of you. And then the ones that are my favorite and the ones I think are the most educational are the videos that I bring to you. This right here though is your freebie. And then I used one of the Better Press sentiments here. And of course, the treasured silver card stock. So yeah, this is one of my favorite cards. I really like the way it turned out. So this one here, I didn't show you, and we already went through, I forgot I did this with the Better Press, but this was the Better Press foiled. And I did not use the registration, I just lined these up on the plate and foiled twice. And that is what I did, it's just a super simple card, but it came out really cool. Hooray, it's your special day. So that's just your Better Press in foil. And then we have the two embossing folders. You have your 2D and your 3D. The 2D here is your streamers, which we had in this one here, right here in the background. And then there's this one, which I thought was really gorgeous. This is the Rosette Burst. Look at the detail. Isn't that really cool? Sorry for the light reflection. But this is what I created with this one. I dug out a better press plate from last year. I think this came out last fall because I wanted something that kind of spoke to this design. I wasn't going for birthday in this one. I just wanted something off topic, something different, something classy and something that kind of went with this burst. And so I went with this floral arrangement here and this plate actually is huge. This plate is a five by seven plate, but I just used a tiny portion of it. And then this is my one of my favorite Better Press sentiment sets. I don't know the name, it'll be in the supply list below, but this is one of my favorite. I already had this pressed out, which was perfect. So I just used that, chose one of my favorite um, frame sets. And for the background, after doing the embossing, I took one of Tim Holtz's new Distress spray, Spritz and I spritzed the background, which just made the dark cardstock glisten and it really jumps out at you, but it's not over the top crazy, if that makes sense. Like solar paste, when you go on, it's like, bam, you can see it. But this is just a tasteful extra, if that makes any sense. So I've just ordered the new set of the Tim Holtz Spritz. This is actually one from, let me see what color it is, hold on fossilized amber. It's still here on my desk. So all I did was spritz this on the dark cardstock and that's what I got. So I was really, really happy with the way this one turned out. And I might even send this to a friend. We'll see. We'll see. But I just loved it. So that is all of my cards for today. Down below, under the virtual supply list that shows you all of the extra items I've used today and the links on how to find the clubs and those as well, I will have a link to how to change your clubs up. So if you're wanting to change clubs from last month and you're a little confused on how to do that without losing your club subscription membership, and all the perks and everything, you know, of being a club member, I have a video down below that is linked for you that teaches you the website. It makes it a little bit easier, especially people who are on the fence of even joining a subscription. Spellbinders makes it possible for you to join but not be caught in. In other words, you can change every single month. And it's a little tricky and I've made you a video to make it super simple. I walk you through the website step by step and make it to where you know exactly what to do in the order to do it in so that you don't get lost on the website. I'll have that link below for your reference and I will see you on Saturday for the Better Press video teaching registration. 
and then on the 6th we'll be back to do those tips and tricks on layering those dies and we will create that alligator and the little frog in the car together. So I hope you'll come back and craft with me and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye <laughs> my friends.